Hey everybody, Scott Sprenzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Wednesday, March 6th, 2019. We've got a free college basketball pick coming up in just a moment. Hey, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do so. You click on the link below the video and get set up for a free $60 account. That free $60 account can be used on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. It's a pretty cool way to give DocSports.com a try. Again, all you got to do is click on the link below the video, get that free $60 account. What can you use that on? Well, again, my daily package on Wednesday is going to include the NBA. We've got a four-unit knockout. We've been red hot in the NBA going all the way back to January 2nd. College basketball, we've got two plays led by a five-unit best bet, top unit play going on Wednesday's card. All three plays available on Wednesday morning over at DocSports.com. Now, college last night, we had a settle, unfortunately, for a one and two losing night. Uh, we had an opponent of our team uh, can a shot, last shot of the game type of thing, which got inside the number and uh, cost us a two and one night. Happens sometimes. I've been doing this for 25 years. Uh, you also get some to go your way, uh, but last night it happened to go against us. We finished one and two instead of two and one in college. Uh, again, NBA, we've been on a nice run since January 2nd. College basketball, we like to get right back in the win column. Went into last night with a real nice run up, about $2,000 for $100 per unit betters, but did give some back last night. Uh, again, I talked about this a little bit yesterday, uh, that uh, right now at DocSports.com, you can get my entire March Madness package for $299. And here's why it's a smart thing to do. If you purchase my daily package, college basketball, at DocSports.com, it's $30 a day, and this is March 6th. If you started today, you'd be done by March 15th, $30 per day, $300. Uh, but instead, if you purchase the $299 Rest of March Madness package, you're going to get all of my plays right through the Final Four, right through the College Basketball Championship in April, so you don't want to miss out on that. $299, the rest of the college basketball season from me over at DocSports.com. If you still to, if you still wish to prefer uh, uh, by the daily route, again, those plays will be available Wednesday morning, DocSports.com, both NBA and the two plays from college, including that five-unit best bet. 75% run, by the way, uh, with our college basketball five-unit and higher plays, five, six, and seven-unit plays, so go check it out over at DocSports.com on Wednesday. We haven't been involved in the conference tourneys yet. They're all small conference games going on right now, but we do feel that we'll probably have a play in Thursday, college basketball conference tourney action. We'll talk a little bit more about that on Thursday, but that's kind of why we haven't yet thus far. Smaller conference tourneys, we haven't been involved again yet, uh, but we probably will be on Thursday when those lines come out late Wednesday afternoon, early Wednesday evening for Thursday's card. All right, uh, wanted to get to the uh, free pick here. Uh, before we get too far into it, and we are looking at Big East action on Wednesday. Get to grab the points, half dozen, with Providence over Creighton. And listen, Creighton snapped that four-game losing streak with a nice three-game winning streak. Uh, they got the win last time out over 10th-ranked Marquette. I think that was the first time since like 2014 or something like that that Creighton has beaten a top-10 team on the road. Uh, but most of the last seven games have been tight affairs because they made a commitment to defense. When you think Creighton basketball... Uh, in the way they've played over the last decade, basically, since McDermott has been the coach. It's been a team that gets up and down the floor, fires, trays, plays hard on defense, but doesn't always bring their best. And you'll see a lot of times where they're looking to hang 85, 90 points on an opponent. Well, last three games, it's been more of a commitment to defense. They forced Marquette into a bunch of turnovers, which is why they won that game against the Golden Eagles. Here's the thing, though. Ed Cooley has had the better of McDermott and of Creighton since these two uh, schools started playing in the same conference when Creighton joined the Big East. I think he's won 9 out of 14 against the Creighton Blue Jays. Providence has never been swept in a season by Creighton, and they will have revenge on their mind. They lost by 11 to the Jays back on New Year's Eve. And again, this is one of those situations with Creighton winning three in a row towards the end of the season. They're at home, second to last home game where they would normally look to hanging 85, 90 points. But I think, again, it's going to be a slugfest. It's going to be a lower scoring game than we're used to seeing out of the Creighton Blue Jays. And if you look at the Friars, they've covered 11 of their last 16 games on the road. They've covered five of the last six in Omaha. And I think they're the right side here. I think this is going to be a slugfest. I think they're going to go right down to the wire. And if Providence doesn't win, I do believe they'll hang that number. So Providence plus the points getting six from Creighton is our free pick 
on a Wednesday's card. And again, don't forget about college basketball. Two plays on Wednesday, led by the Big Five Unit Best Bet and the NBA Big Four Unit play on Wednesday night's card. And uh, we have had three Major League Baseball over-under win totals thus far on these videos. We'll probably have our next on Friday's video, so be sure to check back for that. All right, the, again, the free play, the Providence Friars, plus the points over Creighton. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, .sports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column right back here Thursday morning.